So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem boolean matrix so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a boolean matrix of size r cross c where each cell contains either 0 or 1 modify it such that if a matrix cell that is matrix of i j is 1 then all the cells in its ith row and jth column will be 1 for example if you see this matrix here we are having a 1 at the position 0, 0. So we need to replace all the zeros in this row as well as in this column that is the first column as 1 because we were having a 1 here. So I hope you have understood the problem. The expected time complexity for this problem is going to be r cross c and the expected space complexity for this problem is going to be r plus c. So let's discuss this problem in more detail. So let's say my matrix is like this. Now what we can do? We can have a 1. Okay. And we will try to update all the rows and all the columns by 1. Right. This is going to be the first approach that will come in anyone's mind. But the next time you encounter 1, since we have updated this 0 to 1, we will end up making all the zeros as one which is not right but basically the correct answer should be like this right so this approach will not work as soon as you hit a one you try to update but since you get a one you will end up updating all the zeros so somehow we need to segregate our this logic outside of this matrix so what we can do we can basically we need to check whether this one was present in which row and which column. So let's take a rows matrix which will be having a size of number of rows. And let's take a column matrix which will be having a size as number of columns. So here number of rows is going to be 3 and number of columns is also going to be 3. Okay. Now since our matrix was like this it was having a zero and these were all zeros initially so we encounter a one so one is occurring at position zero comma zero so we will update the rows as one at the position zero and columns at the position zero as one now we will not encounter one anywhere so this will remain as it is so we can initialize this by a zero okay now since so when we are done updating this rows and columns array, we can check, we can rehydrate on the matrix like using two for loops for int i equal to zero, i less than r, i plus plus for int j equal to zero, j less than c, j plus plus, and we can check if rows for that i is going to be one or the column at that j is going to be 1 right we can update the matrix value so matrix of i j will become 1 so in this way what we have done we have segregated our logic outside of this matrix and we will not end up updating the extra zeros which we shouldn't have so the time complexity for this is going to be first of all you will identify the ones you will update the rows right so for that you will be iterating on the matrix so that is going to be r cross c again you will be updating this matrix so we are using two for loops so again that is going to be r cross c okay and the space complexity is going to be nothing but we have taken two arrays basically a rows array and a columns array so space complexity for that is going to be order of r plus order of c which is equivalent to order of r plus c so i hope you have understood the problem let's see the implementation so first of all we will be taking a number of rows which will be nothing but matrix of size number of columns is going to be matrix of zero dot size okay we will be taking two vectors or you can take two arrays of size number of rows and number of columns and you can initialize it with a zero okay now we will be iterating on the matrix and we will check if matrix of ij is going to be 1 we will update the rows at that position 
to be 1 and columns at that position to be 1. Now we will again iterate on the matrix and we can check if rows of i is going to be 1 or columns of j is going to be 1. We will update the matrix. Okay. So I hope you have understood the problem as well as the explanation. If you have any doubts, write it down in the comments. Do like this video if you have understood. Share among your friends and not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.